In the last section of the chapter, section 8.4, we are going to talk about surface area of the solids that you've been talking about. So your key idea today is going to cover the formula for the surface area of a cube, a rectangular prism, and a cylinder. For a cube, the surface area is SA equals 6S squared. Since each side is a square, you take base times height, which would be S times S, since they're the same. And then you, since you have six sides on a cube, you times it by six. A rectangular prism is going to use the formula SA equals 2 times the length and height plus 2 times the length and width plus 2 times the width and height. And the surface area formula for a cylinder is going to be, I'm going to move this down a little bit since I'm out of room, SA equals 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. That's 2 times pi times radius squared plus 2 times pi times the radius times the height. So example number one, let's draw a cube. So on this cube, I'm going to tell you that all the sides are the same, and let's make each of them 7 feet. So, 7 feet, 7 feet, 7 feet. And we know they're all the same because of these little tick marks that let us know that all the sides are congruent. So number one, surface area. Now you are not doing volume. It's very easy to think you're going to take length times width times height or 7 times 7 times 7. Surface area, we write down the formula. For a cube, you wrote down as 6s to the third power. I'm sorry, 6s to the second power. Now the second step, plug in what we have. We know that the side, which is S, is 7. And so 7 times 7 is 49. We have to follow order of operations. So my answer will be 6 times 49, because you have 6 sides. The surface area would be 294 square feet. We're talking about area, so it's squared. 294 squared feet. On example number two, we're going to find the surface area of a rectangular prism. Step one, we're going to write down the formula. So we're going to write down two times length times height plus two times length times width plus two times width times height. Now, the first step is identifying what's the length, width, and height. So we're going to say that this is the length right here. So this is the length, this is the width, and this is the height. That's going to be easier for when we start plugging stuff in so I know what number goes with what variable. So we're going to start. 2 times the length. The length is 10. The height is 3. Plus 2 times the length, which is 10 times the width, which is 4, plus 2 times the width, which is 4, and the height, which is 3. So now order of operation says that I have to multiply all of these together, all of these, and all of these. So 2 times 10 is 20, times 3 is 60, plus 2 times 10 is 20, 20 times 4 is 80, plus 2 times 4 is 8, 8 times 3 is 24. The last step is adding them all together. 60 plus 80 plus 24 gives me a surface area of 164 square centimeters. Let's do another one of these. Number three. Step one, we're going to write the formula. Surface area equals 2 
times length times height, plus 2 times length times width, plus 2 times width times height. I'm going to label my length as 4, my width as 4, and my height as 20. Now, if you were going to find the volume, you would obviously take length times width times height. But we're trying to find surface area, so we have to use the correct formula. The surface area equals 2 times the length times the height plus 2 times the length times the width plus 2 times the width times the height. We now simplify this by order of operations. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 20 is 160. Plus, 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 4 is 32. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times 20 is 160. I now add together 160 plus 32 plus 160. And that gives me a surface area of 352. squared. For the last two examples, we're going to find the surface area of a cylinder. So a cylinder has the formula SA equals 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. I know this looks intimidating. This looks difficult. I promise you, all you do is use order of operations, plug stuff in, and it's pretty easy. So we're going to start with surface area. As 2 times pi. Pi is 3.14 times the radius squared. The radius is 5, so it's 5 squared. Plus 2 times pi again, which is 3.14 times the radius times the height. Order of operations says I have to multiply all these together and all these together first. So the surface area. So you're going to start with 5 squared. So that's 5 times 5, which is 25, times 2 times 3.14. This right here is going to give me 157. Plus, now I just multiply these four numbers together. 2 times 3.14 times 5 times 7. That gives me... 219.8. I now add 219.8 plus 157, and that gives me a surface area of 376.8 squared centimeters. In our last example, we're going to have a diameter of 9 and a height of 10. Our cylinder is on its side. So step one, we're going to write down the formula. SA equals 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. So I just start plugging everything in. 2 times pi times the radius. Now the radius is half the diameter. So we take 9 divided by 2. That gives me 4.5 squared. Plus 2 times pi times the radius times the height. So we're going to multiply all this together. 4.5 squared times 3.14 times 2. This gives me 127.17 plus, now we multiply all this together. 2 times 3.14 times 4.5 times 10. That gives me 282.6. The last step is adding them both together, 409.77, or if we round it to the nearest tenth, 409 and 8 tenths centimeters squared. Once again, it's fairly easy. All you have to do is use this formula that looks difficult, but then all we do is plug everything in and just simplify it.